want you all to meet uh, Kuti. Kuti is an angular superman, like you. He knows all the tricks, all the best practices, all the pitfalls. He knows how the zone and the ch change detection works. He knows uh, how the digest loop. He can build and deploy an Angular app in an hour. Koti all also works at the best place ever. He got all the perks, lots of goofing and partying. Not only that, sorry. Not only that, Kuti uh, also works on some really cutting edge technology projects uh, alongside some really genius developers. But after a while, Kuti starts to feel that something is missing. He wants to try out the new framework everybody is talking about. He's interested in writing mobile apps, something he has, he's not familiar with at all. Maybe do some machine learning or Internet of Things. It might be not related to programming at all. He might, be want, he might want uh, to gain experience in project management, in marketing, in SEO, maybe experience blog writing for a while. But with the excessive workloads, the tight deadlines, um, with spending quality time with his girlfriend, with his girlfriend, <laughs> not friend, <laughs> of course. If he, if he uh, I'm not judging, you know. Um, doing his sport, going out with friends. Kuti da ain't got time for this shit, right? Sounds familiar? I bet he does. So before I'll, I'll show you how, how it worked for me and how Kuti can, can manage doing all that, let's talk about some of the benefits, some of the benefits of, of side projects. So first and foremost, they are fun. If, if you don't enjoy it, there's no much point of doing it. Um, it also involves usually in learning new things, which keeps your mind challenged and you up to date with the current trends. It's great for job interviews. As a job interviewer, um, I enjoy hearing about other people's side projects, like Ziv, for example. You can learn a lot about uh, the passion and enthusiasm of a person by looking on his uh, side projects. And there are many more. So how, how can Kuti does do all that? So for that purpose, I've defined the three rules of successful side projects. And by successful, I don't mean financially wise. For me, successful project is a, is a project that I, am, I accomplished my main goal, that I set for it, and that, and that I shipped it. So the first rule is decide on a project. Well, it might sound obvious, but it's not, it's not the case. Most of the times, when you, when you, when you, want, when you want to learn something new, you can, um, you can see the latest YouTube from the latest conference or read a blog post about it. But if you, wanna, if you really want to learn something new, you got to get your hands dirty in it. Uh, and deciding on a project is not that easy of a task. So my tip is to keep a document with all of, with all of your ideas. Then when the, the, the time is right, you can stra start straight away. Another key element is keeping a tight schedule and a routine. So along the years, I tackled this problem with many solutions. I've tried pizza nights, it didn't work for me. I tried once a month, weekend hackathon also didn't work for me. And late night coding sessions, which also didn't work for me. But the game changer for me was to introduce a change into my daily routine. I started waking up in a one hour early and arrived to work 20 minutes later than I usually would. And don't get the wrong impression. I'm not the morning type. I love to sleep. In fact, that's me sleeping at a friend's wedding, and that was even before I started drinking. So the last rule is to commit on shipment. Uh, in my opinion, unshipped side projects are worthless. They hover over you in their half-done half shape kind of it feels more of a burden than fun. Um, so the two things that I found uh, very effective in that manner was first of all to spend money. Once you open your wallet and spend money, uh, the commitment rises, it's amazing. You can spend money on everything, it can be hiring a freelance designer or maybe um, buying ads online or buying domains, anything, whatever, just spend it. The other thing is to commit to, to deadlines that you can't change. 
like this conference, for example. So this is our sum of my uh, side projects. I learned, I got to learn Swift and iOS development. I even wrote a Facebook chat, but some of them are still work in progress. Um, and I got to learn LLP. But it's not about me, it's about you. So I, want, I opened a, a new Twitter feed, and I hope you, you tag along and tell me what worked for you, what didn't work for you, and maybe we can exchange ideas and, uh, and uh, learn from each other. And who knows? Maybe your next side project will be like these once were side projects. Thank you. <laughs>